so um, this is a pretty nice one so this is a door sensor uh, but technically you can use this for a window and whatnot I'll, I'll show you why um, you can pair this as usual with Alexa and Google but once again that's just because it's connected to Tuya um, so this is the actual sensor and it does come with a manual um, let's open this up so it comes with a 3M tape so you can just tape it onto something here it comes with the one for this side it comes with this the one for this side you know. um, and then you can also screw this one as well there's a pin connector as well so we're going to use that as well right now so let me just uh, open this up so so what i like about this is that you can actually use um, normal AAA batteries for this and so you don't have to buy a disposable battery here I have a rechargeable one so I, I highly encourage you guys to get ones with um, a rechargeable battery you know? and then just to place it back you just plug it there and then yeah madalila no so this is also how you screw it on to somewhere if you want okay so let's uh, let's reset this. Um, it comes with its own pin reset switch, and then there's the LED light. So let's uh, hit this, and then wait for this to start blinking, just like any other device. Okay. So now, okay, rapidly flashing the shot. You can see it there. So flashing the shot. All right. Um, so add sub device. Yes, it's blinking. Okay, see that was pretty fast, so that's done. Huh? Contact sensor. All right, let's open this up. Okay. So here's your contact sensor. So basically, what how this works is there's a magnet inside there's a magnet right here uh, you can see even how much battery is inside so what's nice here is um, you know you can place this in a window it can be placed this way it can be placed that way in door so when it, when it's with the door you know this slides the door opens and then my alarm clock the door is open the door closes like that you know? and then you will know that the door is closed no um, you can also set it for a window so if sliding door or whatever so as, as soon as the question door automatic and then when it closes right easy easy um, what's nice also here is you can set this for automation so say for instance every time you open the door um, you can set light, some lights to turn on or maybe you can set uh, an alarm to trigger uh, not only in your phone but somewhere else no um, so here when it's open so let's see no? so you can actually feel the magnet so as it slowly so technically you can actually set this even if the door is a little further away so you can see here it's still close now so you can just keep going so up to this is probably like three millimeters already and okay there so it works even up to a certain distance so here this is roughly about I'd say three fourths of an inch and then until it Connects so technically they don't have to be beside each other na dikit na dikit, right? Um, so if if you have a door that's further away and then pag nagsarado siya there see so very very useful um, I would highly recommend this one you can even see like um, when the door was open so you can see what time the door was open um, you can see how much battery is inside of it as well okay um, so this one I would highly recommend uh, I'll probably get a few of these uh, probably I'll connect it to front door back door 
maybe certain doors inside the house, even some windows. Okay, so uh, I hope this helped. I'll leave the link as well in the bottom. All right, guys. Um, so here I kind of wanted to show you how um, this door sensor can be used. So I have it on our bedroom door, and as soon as you open the door, it triggers our hall light, right? So you know, when you want to get some food late at night, automatically it turns on so para hindi masyado madilim. Um, unfortunately, like one night, um, I told Google to turn on the hall light and it thought I said all lights. Para it turned on all the lights and oh my God, para yung, yung wife ko, <laughs> she was not happy, you know? So, Ingat lang pare, you know, um, baka mas stop yung pag uh, smart home natin sa bahay pag napikon yung boss. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did that automation. Um, so, particularly for this, I do have um, a automated light switch. Uh, it's a three gang. So this one is basically the hall light um, that I have which is right outside our bedroom door. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trigger that uh, with the with the with this um, sensor door, right? Um, door sensor, I mean. So what we're gonna do is um, we we go here to smart automation, um, and this is basically what we what we're gonna run. No, um, so I, I already have that running here. Um, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna explain it first, and we're gonna show you how to do it so basically here i have um, a condition met which is the the bedroom door opens up right so the door sensor is on um, and then after that we're going to get the whole light is going to turn on and then it's going to wait for five minutes and after that it turns off so how are we going to do that so we basically go up on the top right we press the plus sign and then we've got several options, right? Um, so here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select when device status changes. Okay, so it's gonna ask us, okay, which device? We're gonna click the door sensor, which is the master bedroom door. And then you do have options, no? So, but here we're just gonna click the door sensor. And you do have like, an, the on is when the door is open and then the office when it's closed right um, you, you can also do a duration so if it's open for say one minute that's when it triggers um, or if it's closed for so minute so and so minutes that's when it triggers but here we're gonna do it instantly basically when when the door turns on and then what will it do right so as soon as that opens we're gonna select okay I'm going to run a device which device are you gonna run i'm gonna turn the whole light on okay um and then save this and then next so actually from here what's gonna happen is if we leave it like this every time it turns on the light will just remain on okay but what we want is after five minutes is that i want to make sure that it's going to turn off okay so we delay the action uh, by five minutes once again you can make this any amount of time you want right so what happens is so it turns on it waits five minutes and then what we're gonna do is we're going to make that whole light turn off okay so that's how you set it up um, if, if I were to um, sort of like make this a little smarter I would probably combine not only the door sensor but also a motion sensor I, I was actually planning on doing that uh, it's just that the motion sensor that I bought it didn't really work uh, it didn't work at all no? um, I'll probably do another video about sensors which one you shouldn't buy which ones you should buy so this is basically how we make this uh, motion uh, and then you would click save right Another thing that I would do also is that, you know, I don't want this running during the daytime because the, the sunlight is coming inside the house, so I don't really need it. So you can actually set it only at a certain period, right? So I can set it from nighttime, okay? Or particularly for me, I make it a custom time. So you can make it like, say, it starts at 11 p.m. 
So for sure it's gonna be dark and then you can make it all the way until maybe like 5 or 6 a.m. Okay, so th that's basically what I did. It repeats every day. Um, you would want to make sure that the current city is also correct. Okay, so that's about it. That's how I set it up. Uh, I hope this has been helpful for you guys. If you want to let me know about like, hey, is there any other combinations that you should try or maybe we can test some other functions within this sensor please let me know in the comments and then once again don't forget to like and subscribe thanks guys